large, hairy, man-like creatures in the woods and swamps of that region for many years. As she related this particular story, she, along with her mother and father, were returning home late one night from town, riding in a wagon pulled by two mules. It was summer, a full moon was at its scene, and they had just turned into the lady at the gate that led to their house. My grandmother said the first thing they noticed was that the mules stopped at the gate and seemed oddly disturbed. I can't recall the details, as she told this tale to me so long ago, but they first thought a snake or something might have been spooking the mules. Then a noise drew their attention to the east across a field to the edge of the woods. The noise was a high-pitched, eerie wail or howl. She said the moonlight was so bright that you could see almost as if it were day. As they watched the darker line of trees, something emerged from these woods and stood in the open field, bathed in the summer moonlight. It was at least as tall as a man, probably much taller, she said, and covered with long, dark hair. She said it didn't seem to slump, but stood straight and erect, all the time howling and shrieking and motioning at them. When it started across the field, her father fired a shot at it with his rifle. It stopped cold, turned and fled back into the woods. After getting to the house, they noticed that all the dogs were cowered under the porch, not barking. The whole family spent a nervous night, but nothing more approached the house, nor did they hear anything more of the unearthly howling. Over the next several days, her father, brothers, and many neighbors hunted through the woods for any sign of this thing. Hair, blood, any indication that it might have been wounded. But nothing was ever found. This story is but one of many told over the many years about the area of Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana where large Bigfoot or Sasquatch creatures are rumored to lurk. I, being retired, lived in those same gloomy woods, further west from where